guys, I'm Bobby Rio, back with Rob Judge, and we've got another video for you today. And today we're going to be talking about texting. And this video may hit home for a lot of guys. I know when I started figuring this stuff out, and I know you too, we, we both experienced this. Because there's a, a phenomenon that a lot of people go through, and it's where you kind of hit it off with a girl, you get her number, things are going well. And then you start to realize that, you know, she's kind of pulling away. Her texts either... She goes from taking five minutes to respond to taking five hours. She goes from writing you back these long messages to writing like LOL, ha ha, like, and she puts no effort into it. And you kind of like, you, you kind, me and him always say, you, you kind of get the feeling like, like after a while that you're sending these texts and she's sitting there like laying in bed with some dude like laughing about your text. <laughs> like we've all been there. We've all sent the text and like just like pictured her like with some dude that she just got done banging like showing him the text you just sent and listen like the reason this happens and it happens to everybody is because there's some common mistakes that you're probably making with the way you text girls because texting is something that you know it seems very simple but it's it's a huge part of how like a relationship moves forward now you like it used to be phone calls it used to be meeting in person but now a majority of what's going on and you know, Rob and I have a, a kind of a saying that, like, everything that happens when you're away from a girl is almost more important than when you're with her. It's what she thinks about you when you're not around. And texting controls what she thinks about. So let's talk about some of the most common mistakes. So the first mistake is confessing your feelings over text. Now, this may sound obvious to some people. Other people may be going... You know, and I was one of those guys. I, I remember um, being in a friend zone with a girl, and I was in a friend zone, and like I, you know, I kind of thought something might be going on. So like one night, I'm, you know, I had a few beers in me, and I'm like, ah, you know, I got. Let, let me just, let me just like let her know. So like I send her the text, like, hey, I think I'm starting to have feelings for you, or like something along like, along those lines. And of course, the next day, like I get the like whatever the text was it wasn't good and it led to like her going we need to talk and me getting the you know we're kind of i kind of see you just as a friend and you know that, that that's where the confessing your feelings over text leads and it could you know that was an obvious example so a lot of guys just make a less obvious where they they may send her something like oh you're really cute i had a really good time with you i can't wait to see you again and too early in a relationship that comes across as just too needy too hungry, too desperate. You want to kind of, you want to leave some mystery to what you're thinking in your text. Yeah, now, kind of going along with that, and less obvious, but very prevalent, and a mistake a lot of guys make, is by sending what I call, like, nice guy text. Now, this is where you're not coming out and saying, hey, I like you, or hey, I have feelings for you, but you're sending your text like, hey, what's up? How was your day going? Nice day up today. Mm -hmm. You know, you're basically sending her texts that really don't have any sort of, um, there's no need to be sending these texts other than the fact that you want to be reassured that she's responding. A lot of guys, and this is something we talk about often, a lot of guys mistake her responding as interest. And she might say, yeah, my, my day's going fine, or yeah, it is a nice day out, or, you know, the myriad of other responses to nice guy texts. But in actuality, every time she's pulling out her phone and she's reading these texts that aren't getting her emotional, that's not adding to her day, that's not adding any sort of emotion or humor or showing any aspect of your personality, you're simply just checking in with her to make sure that she's okay. That it's it, The only thing that's going to be doing is just lowering and lowering her attraction. If there was any attraction for you, her interest is just going, is just going womp, womp, womp. Yeah. Like every time she sees one of those texts. And another mistake that nice guys make is not only are they constantly texting her these like, hope your day is going well, and you know, this kind of like, like, like he said, checking in texts. Um, they're also too available. And you may have heard us say before, those who look hungry never get fed. And when you're always available, whenever she texts you, if you text her right back, or if she sends you like the late night, what are you doing text, and you're like so excited, oh man, she texted me, it's like, you know, 12 at night on a Friday, I gotta get right back to her. You're essentially saying, when she goes, what are you doing, you're writing back, I'm not really doing anything important that I would rather be talking to you. Like, you can't be too available, because girls pick up on this. And even though, you know, a mistake a lot of guys make, right, and we've all made it, is 
when we sense a girl likes us, we think like, oh wow, she likes us. I can now be myself and be totally available. And she seems to want to, she's texting me on a Friday night. That means she wants to hang out with me. And what she's doing on a, um, on a surface level or maybe, maybe consciously doing it, most of the time it's unconscious. She's kind of going like, how much does this guy like me? I'm going to text him on a Friday night. How fast is he going to get back to me? You know, will he like leave the guys he's with hanging out with having a good time to go meet me? These are all things she picks up on. And like we've said, those who look hungry never get fed. Those that are too available will basically stay available. And another huge trap guys fall into, and this has accounted for more guys not getting the girl that they really like, is just by accidentally texting themselves into the friend zone. And the way you do this is just by becoming her text buddy. A lot of guys look at texting as, oh, she's responding, oh, we're going to get to know each other, we're going to develop all this rapport, and that is not how you want to be using text. Text should be simply to get her emotional and get her out on dates. Initially, when you, you know when you're when you're before you've had sex with her, you don't want to be becoming you don't want to become her text buddy where you're just going back and forth, you're texting each other these long these long like drawn out conversations because the saying that I like to use and I actually picked this up from a from a very notorious New York City playboy is he once said to me. Before you, have, before you have sex with a girl, it's way better off that you give her the movie trailer version of, of you than give her the whole movie. Because once she's seen the whole movie before sex, you know, she's going to move on to the next guy. She's going to move on to that next movie trailer. Give her just the movie trailer. Make her, leave her wanting more. Don't give her the full story. And the way you do that is by being a little judicious in how much you're texting her. Yeah, definitely. And... You know, the final mistake I want to talk about is something that a lot of guys do, and that's giving up too soon. See, a lot of guys are too scared of, like, being persistent because they know that, you know, they don't want to come across as needy or desperate. And when, you, when you're persistent in the wrong way, yes, you do totally come off needy and desperate, and that's why we put this video together, to kind of steer you away from the wrong type of persistence. But what you have to understand with women is that that getting them on, turning them out, is that every woman is like a lock, right? And you just have to find the right key. And when you use the right key, you can turn her on, change her entire perception of you. Because remember what we said earlier, that like her feelings of you are more based on what she's thinking about when she's not with you. So when you, know, when you figure out the right text to send, you can kind of sort of send these subliminal Kind of like if you ever saw the movie Inception, where you're able to like kind of plant ideas in a girl's mind and like kind of lead her back towards the outcome you want. And the right texts allow you to do that. And Rob here, um, the kind of uh, sick genius that he is, created something called the key lock sequence. And there's a video below where we kind of walk you through this. And when you use this, you can have a girl who may have already put you in the friend zone. You could have a girl who's like giving you those like one word responses. You can have a girl who's already said, hey, I'm not really into you. And if you do this right and you use these it's three simple texts that you're going to be sending her, you totally transform the way she thinks about you. And in the process, she goes from maybe going, eh, I'm not really into him, to all of a sudden you're getting those 1 a.m. booty call texts from her. So check out the video below and we're going to walk you through what we call the key lock sequence. <laughs> Hey, it's Bobby. If you like this video, make sure you hit the big subscribe button below. Every Wednesday, I release a brand new video on creating attraction, avoiding the friend zone, looking less desperate and needy, and more confident, high value, and masculine around the women you're talking to. Every video will include specific techniques and tactics that you can use immediately. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe.